everyone welcome to all in this video lecture so in this video tutorial we are going to discuss about the most important cellular organelle which are called as protein factories of the cell and these organelles are named as ribosomes so let's start with the introduction about the ribosomes and what is the cell and what are the cellular organelles so basically the ribosomes are the most important cellular organelle which are composed of ribonucleic acids which are a type of rRNA or ribosomal RNA and different types of proteins and they have the ability to convert the genetic codes into the chains of amino acids or the into the chains of polypeptides so now let's understand that what is the cell so the cell is defined as the structural and functional unit for all the organisms which means that all the organisms either they can be multicellular or unicellular they are made up of a unit which is called as cell and cell is considered as the structural and functional unit for all the living organisms now the cell is a aqueous compartment which is made up of various cellular organelles which are responsible to fulfill all the cellular activities and in the case of eukaryotic cell it have different cytoplasmic organelles named as endoplasmic reticulum ribosomes lysosomes mitochondria peroxisomes and many more so the ribosomes are also a type of cellular organelle and they are found in all the types of living cells they are found in prokaryotic as well as in eukaryotic cells so now let's understand about the characteristic features about these ribosomes so the ribosomes are submicroscopic granules which are ranging their size about 150 to 200 angstrom in diameter and they are found in all the living cells in prokaryotic and as well as in eukaryotic cells so the ribosomes are also described as protein factories of the cell because they are associated by the synthesis of proteins in the cell and they are also considered as protein factories when we discover about the ribosomes so the discovery of ribosomes was first observed by pelady in 1955 under the electron microscope as some dense particles and he named them as ribosomes So now let's understand about the types of ribosomes. So as we have discussed, the ribosomes found in all the types of living cells. They are found in prokaryotic as well as in eukaryotic cells. So basically, they are not any membrane-bound organelle, and they have not any type of membrane. But the ribosomes are occur in two types in the cells, which are 70s ribosomes and 80s ribosomes. the 70s ribosomes found in bacteria or in prokaryotic cells and the 80s ribosomes are found in eukaryotic cells now let's understand the ultra structure of ribosomes so as we have discussed in our earlier slide that ribosomes are of two types they found in all the cells in different sizes and with different coefficients which are sedimentation coefficients denoted by capital s so let's understand about the prokaryotic ribosomes first so the prokaryotic ribosomes have about 18 nanometer diameter and 2.8 million daltons particle weight and they are made up of two subunits which are 50s subunit and 30s subunit and overall the prokaryotic ribosomes are also considered as 70s ribosomes now the these subunits are defined by the lakes model for the 70s prokaryotic ribosomes here the 30s subunit is also considered as the smaller subunit for ribosomes and the 50s subunit is called as larger subunit for the prokaryotic ribosome now the 30s subunit is asymmetrical and rod like structure which is divided into two lobes and these two lobes are called as head and the larger one is called as base of this unit 
The another subunit is 50S subunit, which is the larger subunit and more or less spherical and forms the body of the ribosome. The particle weight of the 50S subunit is 1.8 million Daltons and it is formed by one molecule of 23S rRNA and one molecule of 5S rRNA and 34 various types of proteins. Now the next type is eukaryotic ribosomes. So the eukaryotic ribosomes are ATS type ribosomes and most of the eukaryotes contain two different types of ribosomes within their structure and they are cytosolic ribosomes and the another one is organular ribosomes. So basically the eukaryotic ribosomes are also called as ATS ribosomes and here the S denotes the sedimentation coefficient and these eukaryotic ribosomes have the diameter about 20 to 22 nanometer and have the particle weight for 4.2 million tantrums. Now the eukaryotic ribosome is also made up of two subunits which are 60S and 40S subunits respectively. Here the 60S subunits is the larger subunit of eukaryotic ribosome which contains 28S, 5S, 5.8S ribosomal RNA and 40 different types of proteins in its structure. The 40S subunit is also considered as the smaller subunit which have about 1.5 to 1.8 million Dalton weight and have 1.8 8 ribosomal RNA and 30 different types of polypeptides or proteins in its structure. So here in this diagrammatic presentation we can see the ultra structure of ribosome. So in the upper side we can see the larger subunit of ribosome and in the lower side this is the smaller subunit of ribosome. In between these two subunits there is a mRNA script which is translated into the amino acid sequences or protein chains. Now this all process is called as translation or protein synthesis where the ribosomal subunits and transfer RNA converts the genetic codes of mRNA into the amino acid sequences. And this growing polypeptide chain is further converted into protein molecule. And this is known as translation. Now, as we have discussed that in the case of eukaryotic cells, the ribosome found in two types, which are membrane bound ribosomes and free ribosomes. So basically, the membrane bound ribosomes are ribosomes which are attached to the membrane of endoplasmic reticulum and they are covered by the membrane of endoplasmic reticulum. And the another type of free ribosomes which are found freely in the cytoplasm of the cell and they are not bounded with any type of membrane. So here this is the structure of typical animal cell resembling all the cellular organelles or cytoplasmic organelles. So this is the structure or anatomy of the animal cell having all the cytoplasmic organelles. And in the core of this cell we can see the nucleus and outside the nucleus in the nuclear membrane the endoplasmic reticulum is attached. So in these endoplasmic reticulums there are several granule like structures which are ribosomes which are attached to the membrane of endoplasmic reticulum and thus these endoplasmic reticulum is named as rough endoplasmic reticulum. And the several another types of ribosomes which are found freely in the cytoplasm which are indicated with small granule like structures. They are called as free ribosomes. Now let's understand about the chemical composition of ribosome. So we know that ribosomes are formed by RNA and proteins and they are not membrane bound organelles. So the RNA is the type of nucleic acid and have basically three types of RNAs which are ribosomal RNA, messenger RNA and transfer RNA. So the ribosome consists a special type of RNA which is named as ribosomal RNA 
and this occurs in three different forms s23 s rrna 16 s rrna and 5 s rrna here the capital s indicates the sedimentation coefficient for these molecules the another component for the ribosome is ribosomal proteins so the ribosome consists about 55 different types of proteins inside its structure and these proteins are of two types basically there are two types of ribosomal proteins which are primary binding proteins and secondary binding proteins so the primary binding proteins are those proteins which are binded directly to the rrna and there are some other proteins which do not bind directly to the ribosomal rna but they interact with the primary binding proteins and they are called as secondary binding proteins now let's understand about the biogenesis of ribosomes and how the ribosomes are manufactured within the cell so in the condition of prokaryotic cell there is not any defined nucleus or cytoplasmic organelles so in that condition the ribosomal rna are coded from the specific cytosomes of the genome in the cytoplasm of the cell but in case of eukaryotes the process is much complicated as compared to the prokaryotic cell and in the eukaryotic cell there is a well defined nucleus and inside the nucleus there is a cellular organelle which is named as nucleolus so the ribosomes are synthesized in the nucleolus of the eukaryotic cells where the 45 s rna is function as a precursor for both the 28s and 18s rrnas and they synthesize different types of proteins so the proteins are synthesized in the cytoplasm of the cell and these proteins are further imported into the nucleus and they get associated with the ribosomal rna to form ribonucleoprotein particles now let's understand about the functions of ribosomes so basically the major function of ribosome is protein synthesis and that's why they are called as protein factories of the cell so this process of protein synthesis is called as translation now let's understand the steps of translation in general so basically the dna converts into the rna by the process of transcription and this process completes in the nucleus of the cell so basically the mrna is synthesized in the nucleus and then this mrna is transported to the cytoplasm of the cell and in the cytoplasm the ribosomal subunits bound with the mrna script and then the transfer rna associated and this synthesizes the proteins and the ribosomal subunits and transfer rna converts the genetic code of mrna into the amino acid chains and this process is called as protein synthesis or translation